Yeah, hello dear friend, my name is Alexi Sarah here from Judy's Dutch. I'm the purpose of this session of the video is just to see all about interfacing seven segment display using Arduino. So uh, as you saw in the last video we had seen that seven segment has seven LEDs on chip that should light up to display any numbers and any hexadecimal symbols from A, B, C, D up to A. And now we are going to look the code that should be based on using switch case so that you may interface our seven segment without problem. So stay in touch uh, and if you get satisfied of what is in this video make sure you hit like and subscribe to see the notification of the next video so let us go so let's explain the code fully from the scratch now you have to first declare the pin through which our byte will be sent to light up the seven segment so after uh, as you know the seven segment have the seven LEDs that light up and for our case we have used uh, the common cathode it means all cathode are connected together so all of this from six zero up to six seven it was just like it was just seven segment that segment of seven segment display and this is a delay time which implies the time on which a uh, segment will take to light up and this is NTI as counter and here I declare the pin mode after you after you uh, just finish declare the pin mode you will come you will jump over a uh, void loop it means the place where you, you will put the code that you will run over and over again so you start by that we count your eye from zero up to seven it means seven times and then you will use this eye counted eye from four loop to be switched so if it is zero a it will read the flowing and then for for one you see that uh, for that to use the common the common cathode seven segment if segment goes high it means it will light up and display something so and this break will jump will jump all, all the other case after the case has already completed it and then come to the last it will jump out of the case it will cause the microcontroller to, to jump from case zero and then execute the last step which is this delay time it means uh, for example if we have case 8 completed and then come to the break the break will cause the sequence to, to jump to, to to delay time and the, the this segment which will light up according to this condition declared in the code will take a time which is equal to the delay time that we declared in, in variables if you look away you will find that we use a delay time of 100 milliseconds it means this will be in milliseconds and one and a thousand sorry thousand milliseconds will be equal to one second 
and the condition executed in one case for example case one uh, case one if you look where for case one you see that only segment uh, only segment one and segment two will go high to light up and display one on seven segment i think you already know how the the common cathode cathode seven segment work one segment uh, uh, the whole segment mean meet on the whole segment meet on one cathode and then for displaying one or other number you will you will choose you will choose among the segment on seven segments to put to feed on high logic so that we display something so then after i finish compiling your sketch and you see that there is no error either uh, you see that the information tells us that the maximum byte that our code will, will take to the memory is uh, 3256 bytes so then you upload your code to upload you click here then you wait till your code get uploaded yeah after setting up all the hardware and uploading the code to the arduino and connecting each wire to its segment pin uh, you see that the output is here let us zoom in a little bit uh, count repeat the sequence so I hope you enjoyed the video let us see together where you can apply this nice among the application of the, the video we are going to see here there is a, an automatic personal object digital counter that you will see in the next video that I'm going to uploading uh, in, my, in, in, in the next video and let us in this short time that you have together see the application of this by doing such crazy things of a running alarm system it means it is an alarm that we that we are going to give a signal to the uh, to the players that are going to start running so let us introduce a buzzer sound which is on pin 5 of the arduino it means the the positive signal mean plus 5 voltage with which we which we uh, feed the buzzer will come from pin 5 and as you know when we are going to start running you count up to 3 so we will delete other case and remain with from uh, we will remain with 3 uh, 4 cases it means from 0 up to 3 then we will delete like programmer by commenting these lines from case uh, bring comment delete like programmers by or code in comment when the microcontroller the case structure to come out of the case and execute this delay time uh, by counting three, then it come out with it 
come out with a buzzing sound. Where it means to count one, two, three, and then give an alarm to the runners, to the players, so that they will start running. And then uh, sound up to two seconds, two minutes, two seconds, and then you get low. So let us go to the black scope part and see if what we do is running well. Now you see that it count. One up, two, three, and then give two, three, and then give an alarm sound. 